Hi, I'm Catherine Story. Welcome to House of Story. I'm a fashion designer and I'm also a boutique owner and I live by Coastal. If you saw my previous episode, one of the things I love to do is bring vintage pieces back to life. This is an example of one of the best I've brought to life, but to make it even more interesting, I've added pieces on the bottom. Now these are pieces that basically the jacket couldn't be saved. So instead of just discarding the jacket altogether, I cut the pieces up and added and whip stitched them together. The reason why you have to whip stitch them is you cannot actually sew on sequence. It's just gonna break your needle, it's gonna mess your machine up. You're gonna be really sorry, believe me. Every time I think, okay, just go ahead and whip stitch, it's gonna be so fast. Or go ahead and machine stitch, it's gonna be so fast. It is not fast. You normally will, if you're lucky, you might get through it without breaking a needle. You break a needle, you put very often put the timing off on the machine as well and the, and the mechanic has to come, which is an expense, two or three hundred dollars just to get in there. So here is another example of cutting up the pieces that were from, you know, basically ruined jackets. So I picked all the interesting and good pieces and then we whip stitched them together turning them into this beautiful, it can be, this piece can be a skirt, it can also be a shawl, we, li we line this piece as well, so it's comfortable, it can just be a scarf as well, so use your creativity, take care of your machines, your machines are like your children, like I love my machines, take care of them, whip stitching is fun, it's meditative, and just explore with your own thinking. Try it. Don't listen to what the schools say. Sometimes it's a good idea just to try it anyways and make your own mistakes. And that's how you learn the best. Have fun with it.